Hi there, this is Heather of Shutterbug 101. Today we'll be going over how to connect your Sony camera to your phone and transfer images. Let's get started. So if you're a regular viewer, as you know, this is not my typical background. Uh, <laughs> I have done my move, if you've been paying attention to my vlogs, so I officially have my own office space now. I'm almost done making it final. I still have to work with this mess back here, the black shelves, add some um, RGB lighting possibly, uh, just to get some more effects, but that way I can use more so of my office as a backdrop than just a hangable backdrop, and I have a whole room to myself to do so. That being said, a lot of people have been commenting recently on how to transfer pictures from your camera to your phone through their app. Today, I'm going to specifically go over Sony because every company does it a little bit differently. So today we're targeting Sony specifically. So if you have a HX90, if you have a RX100 series, a uh, a 5000 series, an A6000 series, A7, even higher, this is, more or less going to be the exact steps that you're going to take. Today I am going to use my A6300 in my video on how to transfer images from the camera to the phone using the Sony Imaging Edge mobile app. Now if you have been a Sony shooter for a while or if you have an older model, it may still be listed in the camera as the Play Memories app. That is the old version of the app. They revamped it. If you try and look it up, what's going to come up is Imaging Edge Mobile, where it's going to give you an orange symbol with a like a white box. We're going to go over that here in just a moment. The reason why you may want to consider transferring images from your camera to your phone are a few different reasons. I wouldn't necessarily use it as a backup because if you're wanting to print your pictures later, you want to transfer images from the card of your camera to your computer all the time. That's how you want to do your backup. Now, the reason you'd want to transfer pictures from your camera to your phone are to share it on social media, to share it with friends and family. You know, I don't know about you, but if you're at a family event and you take pictures with a camera, it sucks because they're like, oh, you gotta send me that picture. And then, you know, you gotta go through and you gotta put it on your computer and then you have to email it. And it's just old ways, right? So if you take a picture with friends or family at an event and they go, oh man, I can't believe you didn't take that with your phone. You could have sent that to me and now I have to wait for it. You go, oh no, wait just, you know, wait just a minute, let me transfer it to my phone. Transfer it to the phone, send it off to them, everybody's happy. Um, also, it gives you a way to edit on your phone. So even if you don't use the in-phone editing apps, which uh, iPhone has some pretty great editing tools right off the bat, you can also download Adobe Lightroom's app, which will give you a whole lot more options and it'll uh, keep it on an iCloud basis. Now that we've gone over why you would transfer to your phone. Let's go ahead and go through step by step on how to transfer. First off, I do want to apologize for, you know, my lighting not being as great as it could be. Having just moved, I haven't quite gotten my light up set up going yet. Uh, so bear with me on this. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go over how to transfer to our phones here. So I've already taken a few pictures of Roxy. So if we look on here, we can see she is not pleased with half the pictures I take of her. So I'm gonna say, yeah, let's just go with that one, the really pouty one. Okay, so if we're wanting to transfer some pictures, what we wanna do is we wanna go to our menu. Okay, when you go to your menu, we're gonna go ahead and go over to the wireless tab here. So we're gonna go over send to smartphone. Okay, we're going to select on this device. We're going to select if you were say doing the very last image or all the images on the state or just multiple images. You can go ahead and select more than one. So what you want to do is pay attention to this little box over here. If you hit the middle button um, inside your dial here, it gives that a little check mark. You can select multiple of those. I don't know if I'm going to do that one, but yeah, I might do that one. I kind of like the profile shot of her. So we'll say we'll do those two, but you can just select one if that is what you would like. From there, you're gonna go ahead and hit menu when you're finished. From there, 
it's gonna go execute, yes. Okay, so from there, it's gonna give this little screen here. Now, if you have never connected your phone to your camera before, this is going to require you to jump through a couple hoops just to get your phone and your camera introduced. So this is something really important. So, as you can see, I've renamed my camera Heather's 6300. You're gonna go ahead and go to your phone. Now, because I have already connected this to my phone before, all I have to do is go to the Imaging Edge mobile app. However, if this is your first time, what you want to do is you want to go to your settings, you want to go to Wi-Fi, and what you wanna look for is the Heather 6300, or in your case, whatever model you have or whatever you've named it. And what you wanna do is you wanna hit that there, give it a little check mark. So you may have noticed I was previously connected to my Wi-Fi network, Bite Me. Ha ha. Um, <laughs> um, and that's because I'm at home. Now, if you try and connect to your camera and you're at home, you need to keep in mind that the camera itself is feeding out a Wi-Fi signal, right? For your phone to catch on to. What happens is your Wi-Fi signal at home is always going to out is always going to win over this little Wi-Fi signal that's right here. So it's really important that you have to go in and connect to this. Now, if you were on a cruise ship or in the middle of the desert or somewhere where you didn't have a Wi-Fi signal, perfect. You don't even have to worry about this at this point because it's going to connect to your camera automatically after you've introduced it. So by hitting that, we give it a little check mark. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and go into the Imaging Edge mobile app. At that point, you can see I've connected a few times here. You go ahead and it should automatically connect at that point and it automatically imports it into my photos. You can see that Roxy is right there where she should be because we transferred it from the camera itself. So another thing you can do with the app is instead of send a smartphone, what you could do is go over to the application list on the top tab here. When you go to your application list, this will give you access to a smart remote control. By hitting that, see right here, it's already telling me go to play memories. What that is going to do, if I put my camera right over that way, right, it's going to connect right to it from the app itself. Starting remote operation, okay. So from there, we can now see whatever is, as you can see here as I move my camera back and forth, a live view of what's going on here. So here's a little bit better view of my desk, some of my artwork back there on the wall, my hand waving eye. And you can actually, if you have a, a digital zoom lens, you can actually hit the T to go and zoom forward. And you hit the W for wide angle to go back. Bit of a delay there, but that's what you get for Wi-Fi connection. It'll tell you how many pictures you have left on your card. It'll tell you your general settings here, which I believe are changeable, which is pretty awesome. It also has a touch to focus option, which is pretty great. And then you can always take the picture right from your phone. So, oh, and then, you know, it'll save it, which is pretty great. So in a situation where maybe you want to take pictures of hummingbirds, but it won't let you physically be close, you can set your camera up on a tripod and take pictures from afar. Pretty darn cool, if you ask me. And showing what you can do with the imaging app, I have found that it's an extremely helpful tool, especially if I'm out shooting. Um, and I take someone's pictures, like portraits. I've just downloaded one of my favorite images right there and shared exactly what I'm doing at the time. There's no need to wait a week to get a preview um, of someone's photo. You just go, hey, I took so-and-so's graduation photos today and, and share it right there on social media or send it to the parent or the student or whoever you're taking pictures of. Either way, having Wi-Fi on your camera can be pretty darn cool. So this covers Sony's transfer with the Imaging Edge mobile app. And keep your eye out for more brands of going over transferring from camera to phone. Keep your eye out for inspiration, Shadowbugs. Bye.